Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. .1. In this video I present the Shinkansen space plane at Edwards Air Force Base. I was inspired by the Katniss Cape Canaveral mod which created a very photorealistic version of Cape Canaveral and I didn't quite implement things the same way here as Katniss did in that Cape Canaveral. That implementation is much fancier and I don't quite understand it. I did a slapdash job of it and oh, uh, unfortunately the Shinkansen space plane's center of mass needs to be adjusted. Uh, for those who don't know about the space plane, it's got really heavy tanks in the tail and they mostly have to be drained if it's going to be flyable. Uh, it launches vertically, not horizontally. So uh, yeah, but there, there's uh, Edwards Air Force Base, at least the portion of it. I mean, it's got all the runways at least. Uh, you can't get everything, of course. There are limitations, but basically it's a Kerbal Constructs part, ploppable, and it's uh, actually scaled up by a factor of 10 to make it the right size. In Blender, I made it one-tenth the size it ought to be. And I think uh, this was recorded during a live stream so eventually I bring up the Kerbal Constructs menu and I demonstrate plopping Edwards Air Force Base. So I created that entry there and if you actually click on that entry it will produce a new copy of Edwards Air Force Base though one tenth the size of the one that I've already placed. And it actually slopes down on the edges. It's basically like a little mesa or whatever you like uh, so that I can mesh with the terrain a little bit better. But this is a slapdash way of doing it. It's not as good as what uh, was done in the uh, Katniss Cape Canaveral mod, but it sort of works anyway. Uh, so for now, until I figure out how to do it uh, the more sophisticated way, I decided that I would play around with this. So I adjusted the center of mass there and tried once again to take off uh, during this live stream from Edwards Air Force Base, this runway, not uh, the infamous uh, Dry Lake runways. Now of course you know it's very pixelated at this level uh, because I couldn't do everything. Oh, I pulled up a little bit too vigorously there is the thing. Though it does give us a nice view of the place. I do want to put buildings and such uh, in the area. Don't ask me for this yet. I want to work on it a bit. Uh, but basically the process I did was I took the photo scenery images from X-Plane 11 and the this area is covered by a 8K by 8K pixel thing. That's why it's sort of pixelated because, well, it's not perfect resolution. But then again, it's about the same resolution as it would be in X-Plane 11. So it's just that X-Plane 11 would put different runways on there because uh, there's airport scenery as well. It's a little bit more complicated in the implementation here. There we go. We got off the ground a little bit better. So we're gonna do a fly around and there's a dry lake bed. A little bit hard to see the runways on the dry lake bed unfortunately. I mean you can see the markings there but yeah from a distance it's tough to line up with it without the normal navigation aids and all that business. Now there are limitations to trying to duplicate what I've done here for other areas. Uh, first of all it is a hundred megabytes and that all gets loaded into RAM directly so the textures are a hundred megabytes and there's no way around that unless you want lower resolution. Uh, the other thing is the way I've done it here with Kerbal Constructs you really need the terrain to be relatively flat and it can't include the KSC. Edwards Air Force Base in real solar system happened to not have a KSC. They never put one here because you don't launch rockets from Edwards, I guess. So yeah, there wasn't a KSC interfering. Otherwise, mm, trying to figure that out with this uh, ploppable on top, that doesn't sound like it's a good idea. So yeah, that's it's this way of doing things is probably only okay if the KSC is not around and the train is fairly flat. I had tried Boca Chica incidentally because I very often try to launch out of Brownsville because it makes Cape Canaveral a very convenient landing location and the coastline makes it way too complicated to do it that way though. I mean 
with a lot of fiddling. I believe Katniss mentioned uh, having to manually tweak every vertice. Vertex. Um, yeah, I can uh, sort of get down to that kind of level with the coastlines and all. So Edwards, though, seem to be easily doable because relatively flat and uh, no coastlines and none of that business. Okay, so here I am coming for a landing. So this is just a tech demo, basically. Uh, a work in progress. But once again, expanding the frontiers of what can be done in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, following in the steps of other pioneers. And someday I hope to land a shuttle here at Edwards Air Force Base. But we're a long way from that just yet, because right now I, I have been testing the shuttle still. I keep trying to bring it down safely, and it hasn't managed to come down safely exactly. So, still working on that. But one day, one day I'll be able to do a proper shuttle mission that lands at Edwards Air Force Base, and that will be awesome. So, as the Shinkansen space plane uh, comes in for landing, I'm a little bit sloppy, but at least I got here. Oh, and uh, the, uh, because I made the slope to sort of mesh with the terrain, there is at the end of this sort of a uh, nasty dip in... Yeah, that's more of a dip than I had intended when I did that in Blender. It's a very simple mesh, uh, fortunately. That's one good thing. And of course, it has a collider all the way. The whole thing, the huge area, has one big collider on it. Anyway, so with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.